Brian, you know, I've been hearing quite a bit about this uh, three-day colon cleanse, and I was at a trade show just recently where they had all these ridiculously horrible pictures yeah. of all these things that had come out of these people's body that I couldn't even hardly scan to look <laughs> at. But there was a lot of interest, and there was there's people around the world that are taking this now. They told me that the company that makes this yeah. just built a fifty million dollar facility, yeah. just the facility. So if you could, I need to learn about this and understand why that we should be using. Okay, yeah, this is actually, it's a three-day colon cleanse, and the stuff that you're referring to, they call it the mucoid plaque, which is basically just a buildup of over the years, you know, grandma's apple pie in 1979. You know, we just get layer upon layer of buildup, and, you know, white flour is one of the big culprits for this, because it hardens like paper mache. You remember paper mache right. back in, it's white flour and water, right? Yeah. So we get this buildup, and the average person, this has been proven, even spent even been on like 60 minutes, and has like up to average 10 to 20 pounds of, of, of stuff in their colon. So whenever you see somebody, let's, maybe they even just a thin person, has like a little pot belly, I mean, they're obviously not really fat because they're, 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 their arms are skinny. Sometimes you even see a muscular people with a, like a belly coming out. It's, it's a swollen colon. You know, it's not really necessarily fat. It's just that they've, their colon is swelled with all this accumulation. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just the past few meals, you know. People say, well, I'm regular. I go to the bathroom three, you know, two, three times a day. They still have all this buildup. That buildup is cr encrusted in there, and it's hardened, and it can be the consistency of tire rubber. That that literally the wow. consistency of tire rubber. You know, Bar Dr. Bernard Jensen, you know, he was the pioneer in, in colon health, and he probably he helped. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people, and he's seen the mucoid plaque come out of. So he's seen it in all shapes and sizes. And his book, Tissue Cleansing Through Bowel Management, which is now called Better Bowel Care, it's been revised. You see, there's a whole bunch of pictures at the back of that book, so you can. So, but I've actually got on my website, threedaycleanse.com, you know, I have some actual pictures from people that have used the three-day cleanse. And um, so, so basically those, those pictures that you're referring to are, you know, pictures of the mucoid plaque. And one of the things we notice with people doing this in just three days, we've had people lose up to 20 pounds in three days. Okay, and that's, wow. you might say rapid weight loss, that's not good. Well, it's not good if it's dehydrating you or, you know, getting... Because some weight loss programs, I mean, that you get dehydrated, you know, like the high protein diets and other things, you can really get dehydrated. You'll lose weight, but then you, you lose muscle tone. You don't really look necessarily healthy. What this is removing is just simply buildup in the colon. And, and it can be very smelly, you know, really, I mean, I, mean, I had, the, the reason, the only reason that I'm actually working with this company is that I had done about 20 different colon cleanses. And this was the first one that actually, I got like four feet of mucoid plaque to come out when I did this. Nasty. And it, it was nasty. And it was just like the shape of my colon. I mean, you can kind of visualize the colon, right? Mm -hmm. Just imagine the colon in reverse. I mean, it literally had all the crevices and valleys of the, of the colon. So when it came out, it's like, unlike any other, I mean, this is kind of gross to talk about, but... But you know, normal normal well, poops was, are usually kind of smooth. Yeah, they were showing pictures of like way longer than that even. Yeah, wait, mine was, I mean, I've had people, I, one lady had 78, no, wait a minute, a total of 167 inches come out, which is, I'm um, do the math, 12 divided into 167. I mean, it's well over 10 feet of, of mucoid plaque come out. So yeah, we've definitely had cases of people that had a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. um, how, does it get, how does it get it off the wall like that? Though? Why is this stuff so... Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, now, most colon cleanses on the market, and I've worked with several, this has been one of my areas of really intense study. And, you know, a lot of the cleanses out there are, are bentonite and psyllium based. That's the two of the main ingredients. The, I'd say the most common thing, ingredients you'll find. Right. And they work by, the bentonite and psyllium work by sort of, you know, the psyllium's like a mucilage, so it'll, it's really sticky. And the whole theory is, is that it's gonna stick to the mucoid plaque and hopefully you'll have enough momentum to peel it off the inside of the colon wall. I mean, the problem is a lot of people don't get results because they're already blocked so bad that it gets stuck down there. And they can actually have adverse effect effects, like the, the bowels will slow down to the point of stopping and it can be pretty dangerous. So, right, plug it off. so, I mean, it can work and people can get testimonies using the bentonite psyllium type cleanses, but it's much, I mean, when I was, so I, used, I used to buy just boxes of I won't mention the brand, but it was a bentonite psyllium based cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I was hardly getting any results. I mean, when I started using this, I mean, left and right, people were releasing their mucoid plaque. Mm -hmm. And the reason this one works better um, and a lot faster, you know, because some of these cleanses work 30 days and they don't work. Right. This one, this, this is, these are the main two packets here, because basically you're getting three days. You're getting, you know, a box each day. So 
I only got two boxes up here, but you actually get three boxes. So one's for each day. And this is basically all you're eating. You're getting like six um, or seven different shakes a day. Two wheatgrass shakes, two mineral shakes that are just whole food based, and then three really thick shakes that have the key ingredient, which is the oil palm trunk fiber. Okay, this is the, this is the key here. I mean, all these other ingredients in here are nice. The wheatgrass is nutritious. And so it's oil from a palm tree? Or, uh, yeah, it's, well, most people have heard of like palm kernel oil, you know. It's like the oil, you know, and it can be like a red, reddish color. But the fruit of that tree is where the, the, palm, the palm oil comes from. Palm kernel oil comes from the kernel, the seed in, in, the, in the fruit. So it's kind of like it's similar to an avocado. Right. You know, it's a fatty fruit with a seed in the middle. Now, this fiber is not coming from the fruit. This is why people say it's oil palm. That doesn't, that's not a fiber. There's no fiber in oil in palm oil. It's like, well, it's not palm oil. It comes from the trunk of the tree. They just happen to call it the oil palm tree. So it's a big, it's like almost like a palm tree, like a tropical, like coconut. Right. And they, they, now, over in Malaysia, that's one of their biggest crops. And these trees only have a 25-year cycle for bearing fruit. So after 25 years, so they're not just chopping deforest, they're not just chopping down trees here. They, they actually plant them faster than they, even, than they lose them. Right. But after the 25 year cycle, the whole tree is used and in, in the trunk of the tree, this company INS in Malaysia, which is a very large company, they have a proprietary process where they take the trunk, the fiber, the wood fiber of the tree and put it through like a probiotic fermentation. It's like a 20 step fermentation process. And it makes that fiber bi digestible. And the big breakthrough with oil palm was that somehow this fiber, you know, it, it, it's very slippery when you when you mix it with water. You'll see it's like a really slippery um, uh, drink, and it, it literally penetrates the mucoid plaque, this buildup. It goes right to the colon wall, and it makes it slippery, so that the whole thing just slips right out. And that's why it can work in three days. You know, just think of like you know like a water slide or something. When you use, you, if there's no water on the water slide, you just stick to it, right? Your back will just lay there. As soon as they turn the water on, you go down into the pool, right? Or like slip and slide too, you know? Slip and slide, you, if there's no water, you'll just, you'll just you jump head first, you'll just stop. Right. I mean, you have to have the water. So this acts, this makes the colon wall slippery. So that whole, it literally, and that's the people, the feedback I get from customers is they say, it just feels like the whole thing just slipped right out. Hmm. It's not painful. I mean, I mean when, when, I, when mine came out, it just felt like a normal, I was shocked to see what was in the toilet because it just felt like a normal number too. I mean, when I actually, when it actually happened. Right. And, and honestly, I didn't even think it was working because this was like day four. And I called up Roger, my friend who recommended it to me. And I said, Roger, this thing says it's not working. This is day four. Or, oh, no, this is not on day three. Supposedly it's a three-day cleanse. But the next morning, of course, is when I had four feet come out. And it's like, this is the first time that I ever got results with any colon cleanse. Yeah. And so I've gotten, I mean, gosh, I've sold a couple thousand, several thousand of these now. And I continuously get feedback on you know, how well it works. People lose five, five to 10 pounds in three days is very common. You know, and again, it's healthy weight loss because it's just stuff that's in the colon. It's really toxic. Right. And that's the, one of the main reasons that we get um, you know, different. In fact, Bernard Jensen said the bowel is the fertile mother of most diseases that start in the colon. Mm, right, so the opposite of that is the mother of health. Right. So, the, the nourishment that is in this, are you like you lose energy during the days that you're on? Or is it no, no, actually, I mean, you. so yeah, you, you are, it's complete meal replacement, so you're not really eating anything else. You're allowed an apple, an apple a day if you want, or, you know, a little bit of fruit if you have to eat something, or diabetics are allowed a little bit of juice just to keep their sugar levels right. constant. But no, it's designed, I mean, there's a total of, um, you know, in each box you get a total of, like I said, seven different drinks, three thick shakes, two wheatgrass drinks, and two, like, mineral. But the three thick shakes are incredibly filling. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, you're just not hungry. And so you feel good. You feel good. And in the, the minerals, the wheatgrass, and you know, it's got things like you know, okra, like Chinese okra, and you know, some carrot, and, and some other like, whole food ingredients. So it's designed to be a complete meal replacement for, for three days.